to take a few minutes to show everybody uh, the latest offerings from Jeff Bober at East Amplifications. Uh, my current rig is running a Club 18 head and a 210 extension cabinet along with that and also a Studio 2 uh, 110 combo. I wanted to just show a few of the interesting features that are sometimes overlooked uh, that Jeff has uh, worked into these amps that are really quite incredible and allow for a pretty interesting uh, switching system uh, with you when used with some uh, different outboard equipment. <clears throat> I'm presently running my rig uh, kind of being controlled by a Carl Martin Octa switch um, and because of a couple features Jeff put into his amps, specifically the Studio 2, um, it allows you to do a pretty interesting routing thing. Uh, the Studio 2 has a really unique ability to be able to be run uh, without a load so you can simply reach in the back unplug the speaker and still run the amp. Now, you know, at face value that might not seem like such a useful feature, but where it gets kind of interesting is uh, when you add in the other feature he has in there, which is a line output, uh, which basically gives you all the circuitry of the amp um, and allows you to use that to record with, uh, maybe with a speaker simulator, maybe just plugging it directly into the front of a bigger, uh, more powerful amp if you wanted uh, a little more volume for stage playing. <clears throat> what I've chosen to do is take the uh, output of the Studio 2 and run it directly into one of the loops on the uh, Carl Martin Octa switch, which will then allow me to, to set a preset, which will just basically either put the Studio 2 into the uh, chain with all the other effects or take it out completely. So this way I can run the Club 18 head uh, very clean. Um, and then use the second so-called channel or gain stage of the Club 18 for a little more grit. And then I can run a third channel, um, which would be the Studio 2 in conjunction with the clean channel of the Club 18. And then the fourth channel as a Studio 2 uh, in combination with the uh, dirtier channel or the gain stage of the Club 18. So it's a pretty incredible setup and uh, very simply uh, you can get a lot of different and interesting tones out of the system. So the first channel uh, would basically be sound of the Club 18, basically running it extremely clean. Tone down, running extremely Even if I play on the bridge pick. second channel now what I'm going to get is the gain side of the Club 18 uh, with uh, no Studio 2 at all involved. So channel. So this is going to be the Studio 2 being used in conjunction with the cleaner side of the Club 18, so with the, the second gain, gain stage of the Club 18 not uh, involved. Here now we're getting into a heavier overdrive, uh, very nice and smooth. switch over to channel 4, uh, the independent volume master volume controls in the Club 18 allow me to run the fourth channel at a higher volume. So if I want to kick that in for solos or uh, just to cut through more in the mix on stage uh, or even in the studio for that matter, it, the, the volume is there and I can have the two independent volumes uh, set. And that also goes for 
uh, the channel one and two that I basically had set on the auto switch as well. I could go clean and then boost up the second channel, get a little more grit and a little more cut, so it's very flexible live. And uh, that would sound like this. <laughs> switching system, um, it really opens up a million possibilities. So uh, Jeff's really done, uh, outdone himself with this and made uh, some incredible amps. <laughs> 